Welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, the seventh son of a seventh son, Doctor. You can't suck it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. You can't suck it. Tell that to your mother. So I am broadcasting to you once again from my secret above ground headquarters. And I am bringing to you a deck I found over on the Aether Hub. Entitled 5-0 Asban Midrange. Hosted by Jiroxy. Jiroxies. I guess. Jiroxies. <clears throat> and uh so I thought, well, 5 0, that's a that's a that's a pretty decent number right there. And I took a look at the cards that are in there, and we got Titan of Industry, Invoke Despair, the Blay Law's been looking really good recently, Shoulder, Depopulate. I'm just like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This looks really good. So let's 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 we got the deck here. Uh we got some look, that's an interesting looking. What I really like about that is I like the art on that quite a bit. It's a pain land, but it's the first pain land I ever thought. Yeah, I want to have that in my deck just because the art is so nice. Looks very Laurel Wind there. Look at that that fairy and everything, right? Um, so anyways, let's take a look at what's in the deck. We'll we'll figure it out, and then we'll take it out and see how good it is. All right, so what we got is we got some Creature Kill, Creature Kill, Creature Kill, Creature Kill, Creature Kill, Creatures Kill, more Creature Kill, and then we got Big Dude that gives you lots of things. Big dude that gives you some stuff and has an interesting way of coming in. Big dude with death touch. And this guy is a card draw. This guy lets you get things out of your graveyard. And lastly, this is, you know, a giant club you hit people over the head with. Over and over again, if you can help it. This, the only thing that looks like is that, uh, yeah, Shijuki could go get this out of the graveyard and let you play it again. So Shijuki looks like he's going to be the cornerstone of, you know, you get some guys out. You replace some stuff, they get killed. You go pull it back from your graveyard, play them again. So between having some uh, bunch of control early on, a bunch of great late game mid rangey kind of stuff, and the ability to replay those things, this deck should do pretty good. So let's check it out and see if it holds up to our expectations. Our opponent against, what is this? Sewage Lagoon. Sewage Lagoon. One, two, three, let's keep it. You know, it's funny, there's no Jodas and there are no Shrines in here. There's tons of them in the deck, but nothing in our opening hand. We'll just go ahead and try this stuff out, though. One. All right, two's gonna get us into a bank buster. We need a bunch of greens, so we've only got one so far. Let's see if we can use Shigeki to get us some greens. Not getting anywhere great. All right, let's kill this guy. Not a green, but we can do a little invoke despair. And we got a green. Getting nothing but lands, are we? Oh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we go, Deppy Moon. Excellent. We got a little go through the throat action there. Means I know who we're killing. We got seven mana. Oh, he's going after his own. Go for the throat. We're doing pretty good, but unfortunately, we're running behind the curve is the problem. And yet, we're not seeing any shrines. Weird. Am I picking the wrong deck? That could easily be what it is. Yeah, we're playing the Bant deck. That's what we're doing. All right. Uh, and we're back up to 10. Let's crew up. Let's put a giant lizard behind him. Whatever, man. Still crewed up. All attack. Go run over Soren's snaggly tooth form. And throw out another land. All right. Just 17 more times. That's what you got to do. I don't want to discard a card. We'll have a good time. Let's Rhino up and uh, give myself some life. We could always just go for, can we just kill that thing too? Let's just do that. Let's Rhino up and just retarget enchantment or artifact. All right, I'll put out our second mana. We're gonna go ahead and pop this. I could have used it to attack, but we're just going to let it go as it is. And we're done. You guys got a handful of cards. He's got six there. That's crazy. Yet nothing he wants. All right, looks like that the uh, Rhino gets to be the Bankbuster pilot now. Down to 10, we'll put out another one of these guys. And let's do it. I'll leave it in my hand. I'm cool with what I got. I know you hate two of what you got there. Yeah, my guys are too strong. 
I gotta tell you, this is a suck card. I, everybody seems to love it, but I think it is the bite. He's putting out some uh, speed bumps. I should have popped from the bank busters. You can try to block here, Smokey Oak. And we win. Won a deck, won with a deck that I wasn't even thinking I was playing. Victory. All right, we're playing against Raz Dane. Raz Dane. Let's keep it. All right, so I'm trying to get myself up to a bail off. We'll shut that dragon up. You think this will go fast? I'm not. All right, if this guy's playing true rule, then we just have to wait until we can blow away everything. Let's see, he's trying to play. Okay, it's just playing maybe Naya Legendary. Horse. Alright, so we do have four mana. We I mean, especially do right now. One, two, three. Smith zero and take out the Heartbreaker. up to six quicker than I can get to it. Sorry, but he quickly jumps inside the bank buster and protects himself. Except for he still sort of dies. This guy's going full on control. I don't have two white. That's crazy. All right, let's start with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. This guy's going to be more useful for us in the long run as a graveyard getter. All right, so we're at 26 life. We're doing pretty good. Say hello. That sucks.
Well, I'd like to go get it, but there's not enough mana for that. I need four. Put someone else out. That's right, that's good. Perfect. All right, excellent. Does he even have a card up there? I can't quite tell. Nope, nothing. There's your card. Two, three, four. Let's go fetch back one card. Invoke despair. Auto pay. He's got three cards all of a sudden somehow. I don't like cut down, but I love what it just did. Let's draw a card. He's back up to four. Okay, he had three. Uh, Rhino and Shield. You should investigate. All right, my dudes are blowing smoke rings right now. I'm feeling nervous. That's not cool. And she's a little on the low side, so I can't get to her either. I tell you, we're gonna go for the attack. And we win! I don't know what happened there, but suck it. Suck it! And we're playing against Frodex. All right, we've got a bunch of mana and a bunch of control. Slowest mana we got there. Got a stink wolf. And we'll cut her down. Prime of her life. Has to be slow. We'll go ahead and kill that guy. There's another creature kill. We need four for it. We'll just put out one of these other cards. Of course, you have to wait for him to attack to use it. Next. I just got pay three life. I guess I'll do it. Take that action. Don't be doing anything crazy. Okay. 
Caves of Kolos. Now we're down to the point where I don't feel good using it to populate, take out one card. Come on, you can do it. Play it. There you go. Yoink. I'm going to draw a card. Draw a card. Two me, probably two. There we go. All done. All right, so it cost me three more to go after that dude again. Pass. Take our three. Looks like a board wipe is in order. Ooh, you can try to counter that. Nope. And all I got is kill, kill, kill. Jeez, all right, here we go. To the face. Buster. Just look at the stink washing off of them. Just stinkiest wolf dog we've ever seen. Kill! Six to the face. We'll chill out. Because that cut down is looking mighty fine right now. There we go. Sucker, sucker fish! And we win! Victory! Alright, playing against Gnarly Cow. Gnarly Cow. We got four mana. Keep. Alright, get herself a life. And number two. All right, so about three mana the next turn. We'll see what we draw. We got to discard a card to kill that guy. I'm just gonna take out the other uh, for the throat. Everybody else has got a certain wisdom to it. Put out that one. Alright, next turn we can put out a shoulder. This guy's paying a lot of black though. I don't think shoulder's gonna last long. We can go after his tan to invoke despair here in a little bit. We can go fetch shoulder back. Oh, let's see. 
Sorry, a creature, walk, creature planeswalker. He's got five now. Wow, that's pretty incredible. I don't have five in me, do I? I just, just five. That was a slow one. So cancel, all right. Which is gonna cost me one, two, three, four. Oak Despair, coming back. Next, in turn. I got three, four, five, six. Got his own shouldered. Hope he doesn't play the, yeah, good. I say, cause if you put out a stupid vampire right now, we will be screwed. Uh, yeah, we'll draw. In your face, Celestial Band. One, two, three, four, five, six, one more. Oh, I see two can tango, huh? Come on, man, there we go. We are going to Rhino it up and put on a shield counter right there. All right, we're packing for Zebra. This guy got Ward to seven. Sweet Googly, effing Moogly. All right, and here's number two. And we win. It's hard to stand up to one Titan of Industry. It's impossible to stand up against two. Victory. All right, so here we are with an Abzan mid-range deck. Um, it was listed as being 5-0, and oh, meaning it was a super winner. In my playtests of it, I did not have as much luck. I was more of a 50-50. So I'm not going to rate this as being a terribly competitive deck. But the cards are quite excellent. And when you do win, you win well. It's just some people are playing some pretty cool decks right now. And they are um, they're taking out this deck like it's nothing. So and one thing I don't like about playing decks like this, control decks is it really slows down the gameplay. And I find that to be really boring. So um, I'm gonna put, say that as a negative towards this particular deck, is that even if you play fast, you're gonna be playing against decks that their people are gonna play slow. And that is, it can and will be painful. So uh, who was the hero of this deck? You know, for me, it was Depopulate. Just clearing the board, you just had to do it because Things just kept happening. I mean, this is all about just creature control. Kill, 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 kill. Destroy evil was so useless. In today's meta, it's all about artifacts. So going against enchantments, not there at all. The funny part, whenever I had this deck, I never saw a, like any creatures with toughness greater than four. It just never happened. Everybody was playing their little weenie guys. They'd get up to three for toughness and that would be the end of it. It was ridiculous. Shouldred never stays out. Bailoth never stays out. Everybody just shoots him dead. I could get Shiguki, Sagiki out for like a second and then he'd be dead. Titan of Industry luckily has a shield, but even then they started exiling him. So creatures were really bad in the kind of decks you went up against this. Invoke Despair did the most good out of everything. Because yeah, creature got killed, creature got killed, creature got killed. This is just, it isn't the play. I mean, just this kind of deck breeds villains or uh, opponents that are ready to take out everything this deck has to offer. I mean, the only thing I could have done is just sat there and done nothing for the longest period of time. And that's not the kind of games I want to play. So let's go ahead and rate this deck up. Is it competitive? Not really. 
Is it fun? Huh. No, I'm going to say no. I had fun playing my cards. I could not stand waiting for my opponents to play their cards. And I know that the kind of opponents I went up against were the kind you play because of this deck. And then lastly, was the deck interesting? And yes, it was interesting. That's the thing about it, is that I was pl plotting and planning and worrying about when I was going to do things, making sure that I got them to put out enough guys, and how was I going to keep my Ops and Bailiff in my hand so if they forced me to discard, that that would go out instead. It was going to be, you know, there was a lot of interesting moves to make with this deck. So let me just rate this deck up. I mean, in and of itself, it is a great deck. There's a lot going on for it. Just right now, when you play it, the game matching engine is going to put you up against jerks. And those guys are packing exactly what they need to kill what is in your deck. So, and you're not going to, it's going to be like a 50-50, like I said. It's just going to be a painful tooth pulling experience it's not very pleasant. So I'm going to say that why this deck is good and deserves to be in the A- minus category, I'm going to give it a thumbs down for just saying I don't want to play it because I don't want to play these kinds of games. So if this is your kind of deal, I hope you have a good time and a better time than I did. That is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later.